Hey, good morning or afternoon. I don't know what time you're watching this. Um, today we're going to be talking about dividing um, and we're going to learn how to add zeros to the end of a number to continue dividing. So this comes in handy when there typically would be a remainder, um, but we're going to add zeros, which is renaming some things or um, I call it trading sometimes, but it's really renaming, um, to, to continue to divide. So flip open your textbook to page 58. 58. But first I'm going to give us a problem that's not in your textbook, and that is 112 divided by 5. Okay, 112 divided by 5. First things first, can 5 go into 1? No, right? So I could either put a 0 up here above my first one and go through my process, or I can look at how many times 5 goes into 11. And that's what I'm going to do. How many times does 5 go into 11? Twice, right? I'm going to write my 2 up here. 2 times 5 is 10 with 1 left over, right? Now I'll bring down my 2. So now I have, so I was looking at, this is my hundredths place, my tenths place, and my ones place. And when I subtracted, I had one ten left over. When I brought down my 2, I renamed it to be 12 ones. So this is like having 12 ones. How many times does 5 go into 12? Twice again, right? 2 times 5 is 10, so I have two ones left over. Well, I could say I just have a remainder of 2, and I could write 22 remainder 2, but instead I'm going to rename that 2 into tenths. So I'm going to, tra so I'm going to put a decimal point, right, because we're, we're moving into tenths, the tenths place, so I put a decimal point here, brought it up to my, my quotient, and now I'm going to bring that zero down. So now, instead of two ones, I have 20 tenths. So how many times does 5 go into 20? Four times. Exactly. So now I have nothing left over, but by adding that zero tenths and bringing it down, I renamed my two ones I had left over to be 20 tenths, and then I could continue to divide. So my answer is 22.4. Um, so that's what we're talking about today. Renaming and adding zeros to the end of a number to continue to be able to divide. So now let's turn our attention to the book, page 58. Here we have the problem 5 divided by 4. 5 divided by 4. Well, how many times does 4 go into 5? One time. What is 1 times 4? Four? 4. We subtract. We have 1, 1 left over. I'm going to rename that to be tenths. So I'm going to add a decimal and a 0. I'm going to bring down that 0. How many times does 4 go into 10 tenths? Well, it goes in twice. I had to think about that one. <laughs> so 2 times 4 is 8. And we have 2 tenths left over. I'm going to rename that to be hundredths. So I'm going to add another 0 in my hundredths place. And I'm going to bring it down. Now I have 20 hundredths. How many times does 4 go into 20 hundredths? 5 times. 5 times 4 is 20. I have nothing left over. Okay, so I have 1.25. So you can keep adding zeros until you get to a place um, where it, where you don't have a remainder. Now sometimes you could keep dividing and dividing and dividing and always have a remainder, and you'll learn about that later. I don't think that's going to come up today, not even this year. Um, so you'll learn it later. 
in math, but for now, um, just know you can keep adding zeros to the end. It doesn't change the value of the number, and you can continue to divide. So let's do, let's go ahead and skip on down to where um, we can practice some. So like usual, you do some math on, on a piece of paper, on a whiteboard, somewhere um, on your side, and then I'll do it over here. You can pause me if you need more time, um, and then we can compare answers. If you continue to get these wrong, go to a parent, show them what you're doing, um, they can correct you, and um, but if you're getting them right, then uh, we can move on to the exercise after a while. Okay, so let's go to number 16, 16a. This is 30.4 divided by 5. Remember, we can add zeros if we need to. And I'm sure, since we're talking about it, you'll probably need to. You do it over there. I'll do it here. I'll warn you when I'm about to flip it over so you can pause me, and then we'll compare. Pause me if you need to, and a flip. Here we got 6.08. 5 went into 30 six times. 6 times 5 is 30. We didn't have any left over, but I had to bring down my 4. How many times does 5 go into 4 tenths in this case? 0 times. 0 times 5 is 0. Then I subtract. I have a 4 here. I added a 0 here to make that 4 tenths into 40 hundredths. How many times does 5 go into 40 hundredths? 8 times. And it goes in evenly. So I did not have a remainder. Alright. Now, let's do B. So this is 12 divided by 8. You do it there, I'll do it here. Pause me if you need to. Here, we got 1.5. 8 goes into 12 once. Um, 1 times 8 is 8. We had 4 1's left over. I added a decimal and a 0 to make it 40 tenths. 8 goes into 40 tenths 5 times. And it goes in evenly, so there's no remainder. Okay, let's do... 17a. 8 divided by 5. Pause me if you need to. Here we have 5 goes into 8 once. 1 times 5 is 5, had 3 1's left over, renamed it to be 30 tenths, 5 goes into 30 tenths, 6 times, nothing left over. Okay, let's do B, 15 divided by 6. Pause me if you need to. Here, 6 went into 15 twice. 2 times 6 is 12. Subtract, I had 3 1's left. Renamed it to be 30 tenths. I added a decimal and a zero. 6 goes into 30 tenths 5 times, and there is nothing remaining. Okay, let's skip on down to D, as in dog. 
This is 9 tenths divided by 2. This one's kind of tricky, but think about it. I think you can do it. So you do it over there. Try your best. I'll do it here. Pause me if you need to. I'll flip it over. Here. The first thing I had to ask was how many times 2 goes into 0. Woo. All right, 2 goes into 0 0 times. So of course, 0 times 2 is 0. Subtract. Then I bring my 9 tenths down. How many times does 2 go into 9 tenths? 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. I have 1 tenth left over, so I added a 0 in my hundredths place and made it into 10 hundredths. 2 goes into 10 hundredths 5 times. And it goes in evenly, so we can stop dividing. So that's 45 hundredths. Now let's do E. E. 1.7 divided by 5. Pause me if you need to. Here, kind of a similar thing. How many times does 5 go into 1? goes in 0 times. 0 times 5 is 0. Subtract. I have 1, 1 left over. I re my decimal point's really small here. I renamed that 1, 1 left over to be 17. Of course, I just erased it. 17 tenths. 5 goes into 17 tenths 3 times. 3 times 5 is 15. 17 minus 15 is 2. I have 2 tenths left over. I add a 0. Rename it to be 20 hundredths. 5 goes into 20 hundredths 4 times evenly. So we can stop. Alright, and let's finish off with doing F. F. 25 Point five divided by six. Pause me if you need to. Here, how many times does 6 go into 25? 4 times. 4 times 6 is 24. We subtract, we have 1 left over. Um, and so we bring down our 5 to make it 15 tenths. 6 goes into 15 tenths twice, which gives us 12 tenths. We subtract, we have 3 tenths left over. We rename that into 30 hundredths. 6 goes into 30 hundredths 5 times, and it goes evenly, so we can stop dividing. Alright, so if you're feeling comfortable with that, adding zeros, um, you may go on to workbook exercise 37. If you need a little bit more practice, let me see here. I'm sure you can find some good stuff on page 62. There's a lot of division there and there's a big review B let's see if well review B doesn't look like it has much by way of dividing I'm sure your parents could also come up with some problems on their own um, so if you're struggling uh, feel free to ask them for some help